good morning, Fanny River. Hope everybody's doing well. Just uh, so you know, we are in 1 Timothy chapter 2. We're going to finish out this chapter today. I'm not going to dwell a whole lot on this this subject here. Just don't really feel led to, but I, just for the sake of finishing the chapter out, uh, I'll, I do want to I'll do want to read it. But uh, so let's just dive right in. Second uh, Timothy chapter 2. Uh, 9 through 15, beginning at verse 9. Likewise, I want women to adorn themselves with proper clothing, modestly and discreetly, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly garments, but rather by means of good works, it is proper for women to, uh, women making claims of godliness. A woman must quietly receive instruction uh, with entire submissiveness. But, I do not allow women to teach or exercise authority over a man, but to remain quiet. For it is Adam who was first created and then Eve. And it was not, it was not Adam who was deceived, but the woman being deceived fell into transgression. But women will be preserved through the bearing of children if they continue in faith and love and sanctify uh, with self-restraint. Again, I'm not going to. I'm not going to dwell here. Uh, it can can be a very sensitive subject to talk about, and I, I just want to read it for the sake of reading it, uh, just so that we can finish this chapter out. Uh, I just I just think women uh, should be careful uh, how they dress. Because men men think uh, with what they are are stimulated by what they see, and if if we dress in a, in a in a fashion that stimulates a man outside the marriage, uh, it can cause it can cause problems. And so this is just what Paul's talking about here. Just be careful what we you know how we present ourselves, and and that can go for that can go for men too. Men uh, nowadays the the, the world has changed so much so even in the last couple of years it's changed so much but uh you know since the 1950s there's been a lot of change changes uh to the way women uh, and men both uh conduct themselves and so in this i just again i don't want to dwell here a whole lot because don't want to ruffle any feathers not that i have any bad ideas or bad comments in this regard but uh just wanted to finish this chapter out also just today's friday uh we won't uh see you again on the daily ride till monday uh, we'll be in uh uh first timothy chapter three and we'll start a new chapter on monday i hope you guys have a great weekend hope you have a great friday and i hope that you are blessed beyond measure today and this weekend. And uh, I hope to see you in church on Sunday. Uh, we had uh, a really good service last Sunday. Uh, and I just... We're going to continue with uh, the cloak of, of uh, zeal. And... Uh, we're we'll, we're going to pick up where I left off on Sunday morning, uh, and I feel like we should be able to finish. It, it, it's a pretty link. I mean, most of y'all looked at those notes. You could go, "Oh my goodness, that's going to be a long sermon." And it could be if you spent uh, uh, any length of time uh, on the on the points and stuff. But I just wanted to spend some time uh, gleaning what God has for us, and you know. Uh, The uh, 23rd Psalm gives us, you know, the breakdown of how, how a shepherd treats his sheep. And it said it leads us in the paths of righteousness. And in the paths of righteousness, the shepherds in, the, in that day and time had most of them, because it was real hilly, it's a real hilly uh, area of the world, uh, they had valleys and that they would take the the sheep down to graze and stuff they carry them up on top of the mountain 
and they carried them on trails and these trails wound around and around and around and around until they got to the top because you just didn't want to take straight a straight angle going up to the top and these these paths that wound around this mountain were referred to the paths of righteousness there was grass on both sides of the path and the thing is is that along our path god always makes sure that we have plenty to eat along along the way on both sides and uh that's that's what I want us to do is when when I want us to come to come to church expectantly expecting expecting to hear from God and I and I, if we come expecting to hear we will hear if we come kind of half heartedly it'll be a half hearted service so I just encourage you to to spend some time praying about the service spend some time praying and, and studying God's word at home. Uh, go back and, and look at the lessons and stuff, and, and you can get a little deeper at home on this. I, I could go a little deeper. I've got some really good friends of mine that that do uh, podcasts and lives on on Facebook and stuff, and they they spend uh, good periods of time studying in depth uh, particular subjects. I just want this to be an encouragement time for you guys um, as you as you begin your day, end your day, uh, sit at lunch. However, may lay in bed at, at two o'clock in the morning. I just wanted to be an encouraging uh, time for, for us. So, stuff that it deals a lot about, uh, it, where it could get in depth. We just I don't don't want to dwell a whole lot of time on that. So, I did want to share that little tidbit about the the paths of righteousness with you this morning. Hope you guys are encouraged. Hope you guys have a great uh, Friday and great weekend. And I see you bright and early uh, Monday morning. And uh, let me pray for you as we begin our day. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We thank you, Father, for your word. Your word always washes us, it covers us, and it feeds us and nourishes us so that we are able to live uh, as you would have us to. Father, we love you. We need you. We stand in need of your touch this morning. And for somebody here that has a special need, I may not know it, but you do. And I ask, Father, that you meet that need at the point of their need and go above and beyond as your grace always does. We love you. We need you. We need your touch today. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride. And I hope you'll keep riding.